Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to another post-match reaction. We've been here in Leicester today. Uh, the boys are out uh, today. Well, I think they're going out to watch the boxing or something. I don't know. Um, so we thought we'd do something here today. Uh, two nil win. Nick from Cross Dammers joins me because uh, our regulars are away. How are you doing, Nick? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. What was the starting lineup? Because you're on the right. Fucking hell! You never put that one on me. Uh, Adrian in goal. Is that it? That's all I know. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Zabba, Zabba. It, it, yeah. Cresswell, Jersey. it was a norm really, wasn't it? Zabba yeah, yeah. Lanzini coming for Fernandez. Yeah, that, that was about it, weren't it? You know what I mean? They weren't. Come in as well. Oh, Mario coming, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the Adrian thing, though, was a. Uh, shock. You know what I mean? Man, not a shock. I, I like Adrian. I prefer Adrian over R. But I still feel, you know, uh, R might have had a say to come back in. No chance. I mean? he, was, uh, he was ill today, wasn't he? That's why he weren't in the squad. He, he was fucking. Like Fernandez ill. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't play both. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, before we start the review, the we start, we, before we start the review of the game, I think that's the last we've seen of Hernandez, and I think that's the last yeah. we've seen of that. Uh, yeah, it's a shame oh. if it, it ends like that. I mean, he, he's been he ain't been treated fairly at West Ham. He's, he hasn't had a real crack, has he? But look, if he goes, he goes. He'll always. I mean, fans will always appreciate what he did when he played. I mean, I just wish we could have. We've been crying out for a striker for so long. Let's hope he own. Let's hope he turns up against Man United. Though, right, listen. Um, 2-0 today. Uh, very good performance, I thought. Poor Leicester City side, uh, who wasn't playing very well. Uh, but the boys put a shift in today. I, I can't think of many that didn't play well. I think it was good that the Stoke game was before this game as well, because they when, when Stoke was 1-0 up, they must have been thinking a bit nervous. And then when Palace got that winner and Stoke are down now, so now they've gone out there. And I said it. I, said, I didn't think Leicester were going to turn up today. Players like Jamie Vardy. I mean, did Mahrez play today? He did, mate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him, mate. You know, these sort of players don't want to get stuck in this time of the season. It's a shame because this is their last home game of the season. I mean, their fans want to see their players giving it, but I'm glad they... I think they've got it. Leicester. I think they've got Arsenal. I think they've got oh, Arsenal yeah, still. Oh, yeah, they've got one more home game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nick. Last game in the sun. Last game in the sun, yeah. Nick, um, what did you think of today's performance? I was happy with the performance, uh, like me and you have spoken before. What I weren't happy is why didn't you do it last week? And the you know in the weeks before you know it really annoys me. It always you know. felt this season at times, mate, that we, we've had to look at what's going on around us, and I, I'm I'm never happy with that. I, feel, I don't think any fan should be. No, they shouldn't be. Look, I think it was Shrewsbury. Do you remember Shrewsbury away in the cup? We went to Shrewsbury away in the cup, and um, and me and you were having this conversation. We were shocking. They never they never came to win. They never played at all. No. I don't understand it. I honestly don't understand why they don't play to win every time and they don't really push on. You know, they, they were poor for me. You know what I mean? They were, they were really poor for me. But, you know, Leicester was so poor, we were better. But what, why, why can't they do that against, you know, Man City? Give a little bit of a fight. You know, I, I'm not being funny. I mentioned it on your, on your, on your cameras before. We, we're singing the fans were, you know, brilliant again away last away game of the season and the, the biggest song the most passionate song was sign him up sign him up ginger carrot you know what i mean Pele. ginger Pele, you know what i mean and that and that was it you know what i mean and anyone even on the pitch he wasn't even a sub no. you know because it's, it's been a tough season mate um and you know i think that is it's now been a horrible season. yeah it's been a t it, like i said look it's it's been a very tough season and it's one that we've wanted to end weeks ago but do you know what today was a massive result for us i couldn't you know, I, 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 I still, feel, I still feel, even though Stoke got, we had to win today. Yeah. We had to win yeah. because if we'd have lost today, our heads would have gone down. We have got Man United next week, and if Southampton pull out a result tomorrow, it makes it squeaky bum yeah, time, doesn't it? Tonight, it? tonight sorry, yeah, tonight. Only that, mate. West Brom beat Tottenham today. I know. They can yeah. still crawl. If they, I tell you what, if they crawl out of it, that is the greatest escape of all time because they were dead and buried for. What are they on? Twenty nine so. points. I think so. Yeah, I ain't looked at the table yet, but that, it's massive, and that, he's unbeaten. Like, imagine if they would have sat part. You three games before yeah, that, yeah, yeah. they'd have been above us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought Lanzini was brilliant today. I think he was my man of the match. Yeah, Lanzini. You know, what I mean, he's, he's a great player, isn't he? You know what I mean? I, I'll be honest. You know, I know I'm, I'm quite like negative because I'm the performances in the past, but today they played well. You know, they really did play. I think the first half, I think Leicester might had one shot on goal and that was about it. We totally took control of the whole game. You know, it was great to see, you know what I mean? It just shows what we can do. The players are good enough. Whatever reason they're not doing that every week, I don't know. But The manager maybe, mate. Yeah, but uh, like I said to you, I don't perform for my boss. I'm letting my teammates down and I'll, I'll get You're sacked. Door, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm out of the door. And... Uh, so why they don't do that, I don't know. You know, what I mean? why they don't give it 100%, I don't know. I said on, I've done an interview before the game, and 
And I said that our big players have to turn up today, especially in midfield. And that is where this game is going to be won or lost today. And Noble, Kiati as well. I've been very critical of him in the last few games. But today I thought he played well. Yeah. Lanzini, he looked like he actually wanted the ball for the first time in weeks. Young Decky Rice. Yeah, yeah, a cracking game. I know we give him, you know what I mean, he got a bit of crap over that mistake. But he's learning. And Anatovic and Lanzini linking up well, you know, it was, it was a, it's the performance we've been waiting for. And I, I think that puts us safe now. I'm, yeah. You know, I think we can go into that United game now a bit more relaxed and you never know, we could pick up we could pick up three points and get United, beat Everton and we could finish in the top half and then everyone would be like, Whoa <laughs> You know what I mean? It looks yeah. better than but what that's what I don't want to yeah, what, no, I no, don't no. want to happen because that'll give us the ball to go, nah, we're yeah, all right, we don't need yeah, to exactly. And that is I'll be honest with you, the, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I think to sum up this season, I am not gonna say we're safe yet. That ball would have got so much work to do in the summer yeah, and, it, and, it, and it's of their own doing and if they don't do it this year God help them next it's the biggest summer in our history I've said it before like in terms of we need to spend they need to go out and recruit the right manager they, if need, to Moyes strip, the, they need to the, it, it's like a, a, a makeover isn't it? they've got to strip the whole thing out yeah. and then oh, reinstall it in yeah. It's like buying an house with nothing in it and you just got to start building it up again. You've got to get rid of the, the crap furniture and bring in some new stuff, you know. I, I think there's going to be quite a few not renew this year. You know what I mean? The, you know, I've the, seen a lot. I've seen a lot. And I've also heard people around me uh, when I was sitting in a season ticket saying they're going to wait to what, see, what we, yeah, see, what see what happens. They're the sort of fans I don't want there. They're the sort of fans you don't want there, you know. You stick with the club. If we go down, we'll all be there. It's tough, but we do it. But you don't say, I'm not going to renew unless we're a Premier League club. I've always said, I, I know this isn't a popular you know, view, but I, want us, I wanted us to go down. And I'll tell you, you why. Away, I do it? want Millwall away. I want Leeds away. I want Millwall away. But it's not that. I want to enjoy my football again. Yeah, I want to go Saturday, 3 o'clock. I, I, I want to just go to different away games and enjoy myself not going Man United Man City and get beat and get hammered do you know what I mean I want to enjoy my football again um, I, do, I don't feel as a, as a fan at the moment you know I've got club cash apparently if I don't spend my club cash it goes well hang on I'm saying I don't know mate but I, I, they, no it's going to go straight into yeah, David wrong. Sullivan's pocket but it's wrong isn't it because I, I sell my ticket yeah, right. rather than sell it on the, to my mates on the black market if it's club cash the club ain't going nowhere it should be it's fucking done. forever it should be free I haven't got that much but I've got about 70-80 well, quid I'm sure you can do that this season yeah but I've got to be before a certain time or whatever you know what I mean it's not that it's the force of it yeah. you know I'm doing them a favour I'm selling my empty seat to them so they can fill it so the ground's full do you know what I mean? I could sell it for to pittance. My, for pittance. You get less, less of a feedback, you know, less of a knockback, as it were, than what you would get if you sold it to a mate. But you do the right thing and you're getting punished for it. I don't get that side of it. That, that riles me. I can afford, listen, I can afford my season ticket. I'll buy another one. I will buy, I've got two. I will buy them. I'll renew no matter what. But I don't want pressure on selling my, uh, using my club cash. Yeah. For me, as, as a customer, you, you treat me wrong here. You know what I mean? If I buy next voucher, it lasts that's, two years. You know what I mean? That's something years. that we've spoke about for a long time, though, Nick. Although they do see us as... Two minutes of memory. OK. Uh, 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 we've, got, we've got to start wrapping this Mark up. Mark Noble's but goal. Mark Noble's goal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, right. You know, I love Nobles, yeah. you know what I mean? He, and he pulls it out of... No, he pulls it out, Dunny. Do you know what I mean? To a better player for me. You know, if if he's the one that's, you know, he's... he's Has he scored this season? Yeah, he scored. Penalties? Away. Oh, of course away. he did, yeah. No, that was the last great away day I've been to, like, yeah. apart from obviously Chelsea, you know what I mean? But yeah, and as well, I just feel the way, yeah. yeah. No, fair play yeah. to him, fair play, you know what I mean? But it's, a, it's a massive result, mate. It's yeah, a yeah, massive it's result, and... Uh, We'll talk about that. Do you know what? To wrapping up the season, we're going to start talking about things that you've mentioned here, Nick. We're going to go into more detail with them. So we'd like to get... We're one fickle. Yeah, one minute. We are fickle, aren't we? You know what I mean? We are fickle, but they take the piss out of us. Yeah, Same was there. But have you renewed? Not yet. Are you going to? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I am. We all are. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. And, and they take the piss out of us. We have one good result and I'm the worst one for it. We're going to win the league. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's post-match reaction. Go and follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV, Facebook.com forward slash West Ham Fan TV, all the social media that we never use. Uh, go and follow us on Snapchat and, and all that stuff. Uh, make sure you go on CrusthHammers.com. Uh, Nick's, Nick's whispering in my ear roll. And one thing left to say, boys. Come on, you irons. <laughs>